Diamonds may be a girl's best friend, but ask any girl around you and she'll probably tell you pearls can generate just about as much affection. Pearls have been worn by royalty for hundreds and hundreds of years. Uh, pearl is a very traditional, uh, natural, beautiful thing to wear. And it's great with fashion today also. So where do they come from? The Far East? Many do, but these are proudly made in America. That part of the story happened oddly enough when Paul Cross, a jewelry designer on the one hand, an oil and gas contractor on the other, made an important connection. I was digging some wells in Sonora, Texas, and the rig hands were um, diving for shell after work, and uh, I thought they were eating them. They were filling their trucks up with them, and I found out later that uh, they were selling the shells to the Japanese to produce the nucleus, which is essential to grow pearls. No one in the world grows pearls without a U.S. natural resource, which is his shell. Most people think pearls come from a grain of sand. If that was the case, every uh, oyster in the ocean would have a pearl in it. It takes uh, a whole bunch of, of extraordinary coincidences to get a, a natural pearl. And in cultivating pearls, you force the animal to believe that he's doing something he would do naturally. In short, this is a small business enterprise where Mother Nature does the work with a little help from provocateurs, people who take mollusk shells from the Mississippi drainage, hone them into squares, preform them into perfect rounds, polish them into perfect spheres or nuclei, then insert them inside a shellfish or mollusk for a year or two of incubation and planned irritation. In the right surroundings, most of the shellfish respond by covering the nuclei with concentric layers of coating. And that's how a pearl comes to be. It was one thing for Paul to recognize opportunity, but how'd he get it off the ground to become the only pearl farmer in mainland USA? Well, the puzzle came together uh, through the research uh, uh, in discovering biomineralization and, and, and knowing how to do it. It was just really finding a location that was suitable uh, to produce the product. And, uh, uh, the Yuba River provided a, a natural source for that that didn't uh, require a lot of capitalization to get in and, and evidence that we could do it. Capitalization followed, needless to say, to the extent that Cross Pacific Pearls is a multi-million dollar a year business in less than three years, with projects now underway in Tahiti, the Seychelles, and Kona, Hawaii. Anybody who thinks American ingenuity is dead better take another look. These pearls of great price clearly prove American ingenuities alive and very well. In Nevada City, California, Bruce Page, First Business.